Hi everyone, my name is Ryan. I'm a Fission Educator with Hotwire Communications. In this video, we're going to be discussing the basic features of Fission TV. So let's go ahead and get started. To start with, we have our Watch TV button, and that is our Master Power button. So every time we press that button, the cable box and your TV shut off. Press it again and it'll turn back on. We also have on our remote the volume up and down button as well as the channel up and down button. Another option to change the channel is to simply type in the channel number. So to select a program to watch, we're gonna start by pressing guide. From our guide, we can use our directional arrows to go up and down line by line, or we have the channel up and down buttons that will go page by page. Once we find that show that we want to switch to, we'll simply press OK. One of our most popular features is called Replay TV. Replay TV allows you to go backwards in time up to 48 hours to watch programming you may have missed. So let's discuss how we can tell which channel is a Replay TV channel. On the guide, behind the channel number, it'll have a gray background. As well as with the program title, there will be a circle with the play icon in it. That is a Replay TV channel. So using your left directional arrow, you can press that button to go backwards in time and then press the OK button when you find that show that you want to watch. On the left hand side of the screen, there is the watch option. So I'll press OK again. And we are now watching that program that we had selected. Another feature we have is for you to press the down arrow two times and you'll be able to scroll through and see what is on other channels right now. You will have a live feed of that program and if you choose to change to that channel, you'll simply press OK and you're now watching that channel. From here, you can use your left directional arrow to see the just missed programs or you can use your right directional arrow to see what will be on next. We also have the up directional arrow. From here, you will see the five most recently viewed channels that you have watched. Press the up arrow one more time and you will see the recent DVR recordings that you have on your system. Another feature we have is called DVR, where you can set recordings to go back and watch at a later time. So to do this, the easiest way is to go back to the guide and we're gonna set our recordings from this view here. Now the guide will go up to 12 days in advance, so you can set a recording up to that amount of time. We can use our right directional arrow to go forward in time. And once we find that program we would like to record, we're gonna press the red record button. You will notice that there's one red circle now indicated with that title, and you have set that program to record. Now if you're deciding that you wanna record the entire series, you can press that red record button one more time and you're going to see multiple red circles appear. That means every time that show is on this channel, the episode will record. We also need to determine if we want just new episodes or if we want all old episodes to record as well. So what we can do here is we can press the info button. And on the left hand side, we have record options where we can customize our recording. So I'll go down one line using my directional arrows and press OK. We are talking about the entire series, so we'll select series. And we have our different customizable options in the middle of the screen. One of the main ones that we use is for show type. Here's where you get to determine do you want just the first run episodes or do you want to include reruns? As default, everything is included, but you have the option to say just new episodes. So I'll go ahead and press OK. And I'll move the circle down to first run only. Press OK again. And you'll notice that has changed on the screen. Another setting that we can change is when do we want to stop the recording? If at any time you think that when you're recording a program, there is a chance that it could go over the allotted time frame, we can extend the recording time frame. So I'll press OK. And you'll notice on the screen, you can go up to three hours extra in your recording. So I'll go down and say, well, I want to make sure I don't miss the last couple minutes of the program that may go over. I'll say five minutes after, 
And now every episode for that series will go an additional five minutes in the recording. And the last option is keep. Default is we're gonna keep all episodes until space is needed, at which time we're gonna take the oldest episode and delete it out to make more room for your recordings. By selecting that option, you also have the option to say all episodes until I erase, or you can say how many episodes that you would like to keep. At this time, we've made our changes to our settings to go back up to save changes and press OK. All of our customizations have taken effect. Once your recording is finished and you're ready to watch it, we have the green DVR button on our remote. I'll press DVR and we'll be presented with a list of all of our recordings that are waiting for us to watch them. We have a couple options for how we can sort through our list. Default is by date, so the newest recording will be at the top of the list, oldest at the bottom. We also have by title, so if we press our right directional arrow one time, it'll now sort all of our recordings in alphabetical order. We can go and find that show that we would like to watch, press OK, and on the left hand side of the screen we have play. So I'll press OK one more time. And we are now watching the recording that we had set. As you're watching your recording, you have the option to pause, rewind, or fast forward. We also have a feature that allows you to go backwards seven seconds every time you press the button. So if you miss something that they said, simply press your circular arrow, and you'll notice you go backwards seven seconds. Also, you have the option to go forward in 30 second increments. By pressing the right arrow, we jump forward 30 seconds. When you're finished with your recording, you can press the stop button, and you'll notice two lines down is erase. You can press your down arrow to erase and press OK, and press OK one more time to erase the program. And we are now back to our original settings for the DVR. Another part of your DVR is add recording. From here, you can return back to the guide or you can search for a program that you would like to add to your DVR. The next option is scheduled, where you will see the programs you have already set to record for the next 12 days. And then the last option is series. This is a list of the programs you have set to record the entire series for. From here, you can modify the settings of your recording. Another feature we have is called On Demand. So I'll press the blue On Demand button. To select a movie, I'll press OK, and I'll go find that movie that I would like to watch and press OK again. From this screen at the bottom, we have the option to rent, and we also have the option to bookmark the movie to watch at a later time. Another feature within On Demand is called Cast and Crew. If we go to the top of the screen and press OK, we can select from the list of actors, directors, producers that were associated with this movie and be able to see what other content on demand they were included in. One more feature in on demand for the movies is called details. Under details, you will see how long this rental is available for. At this time, we're gonna press our back button and we'll be able to go back one screen at a time. And we're back to the home screen for on demand. You will also notice that we have a section for network TV where you can go back and watch past episodes of programs from many different TV networks. We also have categories for premium as well as for kids. At the bottom of On Demand, you also have the option to do a search where you can type out the name of the program or actor that you're looking for to get your results. For additional settings in Fission TV, you can press the menu button or the left arrow to see those options. For my property, if I press OK, I will see the different community information specific to where you live. Another feature to Fission TV is called Mosaics. If I press OK, Mosaics is going to be pre-selected categories with the most popular channels within that category. I'll use my directional arrows and the OK button to select the category. From here, we have the main program selected in the middle of the screen with the volume. 
We can also select from one of the programs on the right hand side and press OK to swap to that program. And when we're done, we can press the exit button to go back to full screen. The last section on this screen is called settings. From here, you have the option to change the on-screen language. You can select the language of your preference so the text appears in that language. Another option is to customize channels in your guide. From here, you can uncheck a box to remove that channel from the guide. So as you're scrolling through, you will not see that channel. And we'll hit save on the left hand side. You also have the option to set up a favorites list. You can have up to four favorites list per box. To get this process started, we'll go down to setup. And from here, you'll press the OK button to select the channels you would like to include as your favorites. Once you've added the channels, you also have the option to rename the favorites list. To do so, press the pound key on your remote and you'll have the option to rename this list. You also have the option to set up your primary guide. From here, we have three different viewing options for the guide. We also have guide rotation. From here, you can determine which guides would you like to be available by simply pressing the guide button while watching live TV. So now if we go back to our guide, we have the primary guide that we had selected, but if we keep pressing guide, it'll take us through the other guide viewing options. We are now on the on now guide. This will present to you a list of programs that are currently airing on these channels. And if we scroll through, we will see a live feed demonstrating what you would see if you were to select that channel. On the left hand side of the screen, we have just missed. So if you press the left arrow, you'll be able to see the programming that was recently on. And on the right hand side of the screen, we have on next. So we could use our right arrow to see what programs will be on in the future. From live TV, you also have the options to go and search for programming by filters. So I'm gonna use my right directional arrow and on the right hand side of the screen, you'll see live TV filters. I'll press okay. And by category, we can go see what programs are currently airing on TV and will be presented with the on now guide. From here, you'll see all currently live programming across all channels within this category. Thank you for watching this tutorial for Fission TV. For more information, you can find us at gethotwired.com. I'm Ryan with Hotwire Communications. Thanks for watching.